Hello students, today we're going to be talking about the benchmark results. Uh, we take ben benchmarks in biology, um, English, and math. And let's talk about what they are before I show you the results and how you scored. What are benchmarks? Um, they're a measure of progress towards the CST exams. So they basically show you where you're at as we get closer to the CST exams and it's a good predictor of how you're going to score. So what's the point as well as to improve our weaknesses? So what measures the progress towards the CST exams? We'll talk about what that is. Again, good predictors of the state exam performance. We take these big state exams in May that help determine our school's ranking in the country and also do a lot of good things for you individually. There's a lot of benefits for doing well on these state exams. So the goal, again, is to strengthen the areas of weakness. So think of it as like a little progress report based on your mastery of all the state standards. Again, standards are concepts that we need to teach you and that you need to learn. So each standard is a certain concept, an idea that you're going to be tested in many different ways. And you got to show mastery, and that's what the government wants us to show you and wants you to master. So we want to strengthen these areas of weakness so that we can make those improvements and ultimately score very well on the CSC exam. So they help us. That's what they're for. There's three more benchmark exams, as you'll be seeing later on. And our goal is to do the best that we can because there's some incentives for doing well on these benchmarks. Again, uh, benchmark exams are usually used as a course grade. And again, um, so it could be a, a part of a midterm. It could be the entire midterm. Um, but I use, it, I use it as a sticker. And remember, the stickers are important to get all the stickers so that we can score well in the, in the class. You get all your stickers. You don't have to take the final. Okay, and it's also used to measure district performance. So, um, for example, there's 18 green dot schools. And it's used to show, you know, how the teachers are teaching biology and how the students are learning. And it's used to rank us, uh, rank schools in terms of how we teach these uh, standards. And there are incentives for doing well. For example, if you score proficient, um, you get your sticker. Again, proficient and, and advanced. Um, you get your sticker and certificate. Um, and you get a homework pass. And so it's a, that's a nice deal for you right there. Um, if you score advanced, you not only get your sticker and a nice certificate and a homework pass, um, but you get points back to the midterm. And again, I promised you about 10 uh, to 15 points back on your midterm, to, depending on how, you, how high you score. Um, you also replace a missing sticker. So if you were missing anything, Maybe a sticker from quarter one, we'll go back and we'll replace it and we'll we'll clean it up for you, uh, increase your score and maybe your GPA as well. And we ha have a pizza, a pizza party or a pizza party. So it's a little something that I like to do for students who re work really hard. Um, I like, again, rewarding students who do very well. That's how it works. Uh, let's take a look at what are the state exams. You hear me talking about the CSTs and other teachers talk about them. These are these big state exams that we take in May. Why do we care? Blah, blah, blah. Let's check it out. These are exams that measure the mastery of the California state standards. What are the standards? Well, again, these are concepts that the government has uh, told us that we have to teach and you have to learn. These are very important standards that um, will help you excel not just in university level, but beyond in the real world. So these are important standards, um, not just for academics, but for you to survive in the real world. You have to know these things. And we teach them, and the government wants to know, and, and other people want to know how we did. Why should you care? Well, the scores are used for university course placement. So let's say you go to UCLA, LMU, whatever university you're going to go to, and you want to take a certain course. Well, these universities will look at how you placed in these state exams to determine if you can take that course or not. Um, and advanced placement courses. So let's say you want to take an AP course here at Animo. Well, they're going to use your CST scores, your state exam scores. 
And again, just so you know, uh, the CST means California State Test. Okay, and it also improves our API score, which helps your application. So what's an API? We talk about API. What does that mean? API means Academic Performance Index. And that is essentially it's like a grade that a school gets. But instead of a letter grade like A, B, C, or D, we get a number. And the number ranks from 1 to 1,000. 1,000 means it's just students are getting perfect scores on their state exams. So um, where are we? We're really close to 800, which is, which are, we're talking about the top 10 in the nation. So we want to get above 800 and maybe even score 900, and we'll beat out schools like HAMS. And so that's what the API score is. We want to improve it. And so doing well on these state exams, like your CST in biology, CST in English and math, which we take in again in May, this will increase the API score put us up in the rankings and helps your application because you, these universities are going to be like, hey, you're coming from a great school because, you know, you have a great API score at your school. So we want you that much more because that's how competitive your school is. And you get scholarship money. So scoring advance in these uh, CST scores gives you money in your pocket. Results. How did we do? Congratulations, we scored the highest in all of Green Dot in biology. So we had about, there's about 18 Green Dot schools, we scored the highest. Um, and it's good to celebrate, but again, it's the, the real thing that counts is a CST. So it just shows us that we're on the right track. And science department in general, the science department at our school is very strong. Um, chemistry and physics also scored number one in all of Green Dot. So again, get ready for chemistry and physics sophomore and junior year because you're going to have great teachers. And keep up the great work. So let's look at, uh, make sure you look at your score reports and strengthen your weaknesses. We'll be talking about score reports. 